Cutting the Coke Line starts Monday at 10. This is Channel 12 News with Mike Anderson and the Channel 12 News team. Good evening, everyone. An afternoon soccer match in Bradford, England, turned into a catastrophe when the 80-year-old wooden grandstands caught fire, killing 40 people and injuring 150 others. Authorities say the fire may have been started by a fan playing with matches. Once the fire started, it completely engulfed the grandstand within a matter of minutes. The game was being broadcast live throughout England. Thousands watched in horror as the scenes were described by the play-by-play -play announcer. Witnesses said some fans died in their seats. Others fled to rear exits but found them padlocked to keep out non-paying customers. Locally, State Senator Mordecai Lee said today he will introduce legislation that would, quote, eliminate the double standard in state law which exists between adult and juvenile justice. The case in point, 19-year-old Randall McMurtry, who's been charged with murdering Linda Moffitt and her son Joshua. McMurtry was loose after escaping from the Ethan Allen School for Juvenile Offenders at Wales at the time of the slayings. Under state law, juveniles aren't punished for escapes, and Senator Lee says that law should be changed needs to be done is we need to make an amendment to the state juvenile code which adds to the list of offenses for which a juvenile can be charged and held in secure detention the act of either escaping from an institution or fleeing or eluding a law enforcement official right now fleeing a law enforcement officer escaping from a juvenile institution that's not a crime you can't be brought back to court and for the judge to sentence the juvenile to additional time so we need to add those acts to the list of offenses for which somebody can be sent away to Wales. Lee said some legislators might view the proposed amendment as trying to change the orientation of the juvenile code away from the let's be understanding approach to taking let's punish them when necessary steps. Therefore, he expects a divisive debate over the issue in Madison. Testimony is expected to begin Monday morning in the trial of Tommy Bobo. Bobo is accused of murdering 25-year-old Cheryl Robinson and her 9-year-old daughter. Their bodies were found in a car on Milwaukee's north side in April of 1984. Bobo was charged with the murders. In a statement to police, Bobo allegedly admitted to the killings. He now denies the charges. Bobo's attorney says police improperly questioned Bobo after the defendant asked for an attorney. I believe my contention is now borne out that there was questioning done by members of the City of Milwaukee Police Department after Mr. Bobo made the request for Mr. Davidson. Coffey wants Judge Janine Geske to suppress the evidence. The judge will announce her decision Monday morning. Kenosha police have uh, ended their hunt for a seven-year-old boy abducted this morning by a man who stabbed his father. As it turns out, the suspect was the victim's brother, and the child is okay. 33-year-old Benigno Aguinaga was stabbed twice in the chest. He's now listed in critical condition. Police said earlier they were about to make an arrest. The Illinois Prisoner Review Board will now be making a secret recommendation to Governor James Thompson on what he should do in the Gary Dotson case. The board, with Thompson as its special chairman, concluded three days of testimony today in Chicago. Thompson will be deciding, perhaps as soon as Monday, on whether to free Dotson, who has served six years on a rape charge that his accuser now says she made up. During today's hearing, several witnesses poked holes in accuser Kathy Webb's new story. Earlier, she said she pointed a finger at Dotson because she thought her boyfriend had made her pregnant, but that former boyfriend today testified that he never completed a sex act with her. The man who created the Dick Tracy comic strip has died. Chester Gould was 84. His grandson said Gould got the idea for Dick Tracy because of crime in Chicago. Originally, he wanted to name it Plain Clothes Tracy, but the long name didn't go over well with the editors, and the comic strip was renamed Dick Tracy. The man with a two-way wrist radio first hit the imaginary crime beat in October of 1931. In his weekly radio address today, President Reagan paid tribute to America's mothers. Tomorrow, as you know, is Mother's Day. He singled out women who have increased national awareness of drunken driving, fought drug abuse, and for those who promote adopting handicapped children. The President and Mrs. Reagan are in Camp David for the rest of the weekend. Delivering the Democratic reply, California Congressman Don Edwards said the Reagan-endorsed budget will push an additional $500,000 
uh, senior citizens, many of them mothers, below the official poverty line. Pope John Paul II is warning liberal Dutch Roman Catholics not to distance themselves from the center of their church. The Pope delivered that message as he arrived in the Netherlands where tensions between dissident Catholics and the conservative church leadership run high. It's the first day of an 11-day tour for the Pope who will also visit Belgium and Luxembourg. Well, coming up, a message for teenagers headed for their school proms. And we'll tell you why these people walked 20 miles today in just a moment. Rapunzel! Rapunzel! I'm here to win your heart. Not with that. Who you gonna turn to? Rapunzel. Not that chicken. Who you gonna turn to? Rapunzel. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Who you gonna turn to? If you were to conduct a survey anywhere in the world to identify the number one super premium beer, you'd pick Milwaukee, Beer Town, USA. The Milwaukee Journal did just that, and the number one super premium brand is Highland Special Export. I repeat, the number one super premium beer in Milwaukee, where people really know beer, is Highland Special Export. Think it over. You can travel the world over and never find a better beer. If you're considering buying central air conditioning or a heat pump system, your York dealer can help you make the right decision with a free comfort cost analysis. And when you purchase either York system from your participating York dealer, here's more good news. You can get a free stereo system or 12-inch black and white TV, each a big $100 value. And here's where you can make the right decision in your area. West Dallas Heating and Air Conditioning, West Dallas, and Archer Heating and Air Conditioning, Milwaukee. Feeding, weeding, fighting bugs. You need Chemlon. Chemlon guarantees a thicker, greener lawn. In spring, we feed and weed. Guaranteed. In summer, we come back to spray for bugs. Guaranteed. In fall, we heavy feed. We'll keep working till you're satisfied or your money back. Guaranteed. Chem Lawn keeps coming back for a thicker, greener lawn. Guaranteed. They've been told their money is secure, but that's not stopping hundreds of depositors from withdrawing their funds from Maryland's old Court Savings and Loan Association. The privately insured institution replaced its top executive this week, and since Thursday, depositors have been lining up at various branches to withdraw their money. An aide to Maryland Governor Harry Hughes says state officials are trying to hold uh, court executives about uh, ways to restore confidence in the bank. Florists all over the United States, including more than 100 here in Milwaukee, have begun a new campaign to discourage teenagers about drunk driving. It's called Operation Prom Slash Graduation. And with every corsage or boutonniere that are ordered for those special occasions, the florists will enclose a little tag reminding teens about the hazards of driving while intoxicated. We think it's something that we have to do. What the results will be, uh, I really don't know right now. We're hopeful that it's going to be something that's, uh, that, uh, that, that, that will get the message across to the young people that they should have a lot of fun and uh, if they are going to drink, which we'd rather not see them not drink, that they should not drive a vehicle. The new campaign was put together by the American Florist Marketing Council in Washington, D.C. More than 350 people turned out at the Milwaukee Summerfest grounds this morning for the Milwaukee Hunger Hike. And of course, the main focus of attention was We Are the World, a campaign to feed the starving people of Ethiopia. But this hike also supports the Second Harvesters, a statewide food bank program. After signing and holding hands during opening ceremonies, the hikers began their 20-mile trek through the city. We've got the individuals here that are participating and doing what they can and also, the, you should be, uh, the We Are the World program has really shown the maturity of the uh, media industry and the fact that each and every one of us have a talent and uh, we can have time that we can contribute and participate. It be a Tina Turner, you know, joining the recording effort or uh, the Walker from a local high school, uh, you know, raising funds and uh, doing his part or her part. Organizers of this year's Hunger Hike were hoping to raise up to $50,000. The Milwaukee area Irish are gearing up for Irish Fest tonight. Paddy MacFest, the official Irish 
Irishfest mascot got married at the Irishfest kickoff. The Irish were up to their old tricks again with drinking, dancing to the music of Schooner Fair and, of course, some tomfoolery. In case you're wondering if all of this is real, well, sort of. Both bride and groom are giant puppet characters created for Irish Fest by master puppeteer Robin Reed of Wales, Wisconsin. And another celebration tonight, the Leo Association of Wisconsin held its annual New Year party. It's a nonprofit association. There was a religious ceremony followed by dancing, and then the real celebration began. In fact, the party continues until 1 o'clock in the morning. And if you'd like to stop by, the cost is 5 bucks for an adult, and anyone under 15 years of age is admitted absolutely free. The location is 1925 West National, right here in Milwaukee. Robin Marshman. Yes, sir. How are you tonight? I am fine, and yourself? Well, I, I'm fine, too, but how's, right. th how's the weather? <laughs> oh, that's what you wanted to know. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like there should be some thunderstorms later on tonight, yeah. but the threat for severe weather does seem to be diminishing. Okay. We'll get the complete details from Robin in just a moment. It's time to get going to a special offer at Pizza Hut. Just come in, order a medium or large Pizza Hut pizza to go, and get this new half-gallon thermal jug for just $1.99. And every time you order another medium or large pizza to go, bring back the jug, or any Pizza Hut jug, and we'll fill it with Pepsi absolutely free. At your hometown Pizza Hut. Come in for the jug. Come back for the refill. Oldsmobile Calais. The car with the inside track on style. At the Indy 500, the Milwaukee Mile, and on the street where you live. Now, Calais quickens the pace with 8.8% GMAC financing through May 31. 8.8 on any new in-stock Calais delivered in May. Race over to your Knights of Old Steeler today. Wisconsin Dells, there's something for everyone. I'm Tommy Bartlett, inviting you to my all-new show, where pulses quicken, spirits soar, and sides split, where courage is tested. You'll get goosebumps at the all-new Tommy Bartlett Show. The Wisconsin Dells, there's something for everyone. Call for free travel and attractions guide. My son's moving back in. Double my auto insurance coverage. Thanks for holding, Bob. My wife bought more things for the house. Increase my homeowner's insurance. Byron, this is Make life simpler for yourself. This has been the pits. Talk Great with an American time. family insurance agent and keep all your protection under one roof. Hello, American family. American family insurance. Look in the white or yellow pages for the American family agent nearest you. Some of you might have gotten rained on tonight. I don't know, in some areas, rain somewhere, didn't it, Robert? Certainly did, Mike, and it's going to be raining some more before the night time is over and possibly tomorrow morning right in time for Mother's Day. Currently in Milwaukee with a couple of showers in our area. Timmerman reporting 69, as is Mitchell Field. Our dew point 63, humidity is 81 percent, winds are south at 14, the barometer 2965 and steady. At least it's mild outside. Temperatures throughout southeastern Wisconsin, upper 60s to lower 70s. The range includes 56 at Racine, 70 up at Whitefish Bay and over in Waukesha. A Tornado watch is posted for parts of Wisconsin, the extreme southwestern corner, and also down through Iowa and into Missouri. That's until 11 p.m. We had thought at one point that some thunderstorms might move through our area and could be severe. It doesn't look like it. We've been watching this area since 7 p.m. when it just entered into eastern Iowa and started to enter into southwestern Wisconsin by around 8 p.m. It did produce some severe weather near Lone Rock in the form of large hail and very strong winds. By 9 p.m. it was moving through the Lone Rock area, trying to push into the Madison region. But our current National Weather Service radar from Madison does indicate that the whole thing is starting to diminish somewhat. This whole thing is moving northeastwards, so at least in the short run, the threat for severe weather does seem to be ending. But thunderstorms are in the forecast overnight. On our satellite picture, that area shows up as this bright area of clouds in southwestern Wisconsin and eastern Iowa. Cloudy skies, of course, throughout Wisconsin. The reason is this low-pressure system that is moving gradually northward over the nighttime hours. Thunderstorms, of course, produced ahead of it in the very mild and unstable air that's been in our region. For tomorrow, the front moves through, so in the morning there is a chance for an isolated shower, but after that, mild and dry conditions will move in, and that means some clearing for the end of Mother's Day. On Monday, it looks like 
anti-cyclonic high pressure moves into our region, sunny and pleasant conditions with highs in the 70s, both tomorrow and on Monday, a little bit cooler than the 80s of this past week, but still quite tolerable. Forecast details then for southeastern Wisconsin for tonight, cloudy, breezy, and mild. There is still the possibility for showers and thunderstorms, but the, the severe weather looks like it should miss us. Low 60 southeast winds 15 to 20. For Sunday, showers early but clearing late, kind of breezy, high in the upper 70s, west winds getting up to 15 to 25. On Monday, mostly sunny, a few degrees, cooler, high 72. And for Tuesday, sunny and pleasant with highs in the 70s. We will keep an eye on this line of thunderstorms and let you know if anything changes. As of right now, nothing to worry about. That's the way it looks. Back to you, Mike. All right, Robin. A group of concerned uh, people concerned with the poor and homeless here in Milwaukee is planning a march to the mayor's office in an attempt to save the Randolph Hotel. The building has long been a source of low-income housing in the downtown area, but a few months back it was closed, and the city plans to tear it down. What happens is as you tear those down, uh, people can no longer afford to pay rent anywhere else. And in fact, uh, we have in fact caused caused homelessness by uh, tearing down low-cost downtown hotels. About 10 nonprofit groups are joining together to try to save the hotel. They plan to march from the Randolph to the mayor's office on Wednesday. Kevin, it's the Brewers and the Angels again tonight. Boy, game's about over. They're trying to break a two-game losing streak. It's about not to happen. About to make it three. And the streaks at Indianapolis were caused by automobiles. Record times next. In Wisconsin, there's one name that means trucks. That name is Schlesinger. Schlesinger Chevrolet and Schlesinger Toyota. Trucks for every job. Trucks for sport and fun. Trucks for power and dependability. And now for a limited time, all these trucks are on sale. Deep discounts will save you big bucks, new or used, big or small. Hurry, they're moving fast at Schlesinger Toyota and Schlesinger Chevrolet, Milwaukee's truck center. That's how Mel's building a big name for himself. Well, Lee, what you think? <laughs> I think I dropped more one-liners than putts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's showbiz. Yeah, but we were playing golf today. At least I can't miss with this. Lee, you don't know anything about gasoline. Don't have to. My car knows. Why do more drivers rate Amoco Premium Lead Free the highest quality gasoline? Your car knows. Nice shot. Best shot I've made all day. I wish my car knew how to make those three-foot putts. <laughs> Amoco. Your car knows. You could be buying a car or getting yours repaired. Maybe it's happened to you through the mail or even at home. I'm Eleanor Hayes, Channel 12 News. Consumer ripoffs. At one time or another, everyone's a victim. Where can you turn for help? Starting Monday for two weeks, consumer reporter Doug Kramer investigates common problems and gives useful tips on consumer self-defense. How to protect yourself. A two-week segment 12 report starting Monday on the 6 o'clock Channel 12 News. Are you drinking America's best brewed premium beer? Once, all quality beers were brewed with only the purest water and an expensive old world way of brewing called croisoning. But today, only one major premium beer is still brewed this way. Only one. Not Miller, not Coors, not even Budweiser. Only Heilemann's old style beer is still brewed with pure artesian spring water and fully croisoned. Old style. America's best brewed premium beer. This is no ordinary night. This is eternity. If only you hadn't started thinking about that Burger King breakfast croissant, which you can't have yet. About that light, flaky croissant filled with golden eggs and melted cheese. With bacon or ham or sausage you can't taste till morning. 